want to win, you know, and I think, you know, uh, obviously MVP is a special award, you know, this is the best football players in the world, and there's so many great guys, you know, I think about guys like Lamar last year, it was unbelievable last year, such a great player, you know, guys like Patrick Mahomes. And mm, so, Acho, will Russell Wilson's quest for MVP hurt the Seahawks' success? Man, I, yes. I think long term it will. Really? I do, track with me. I, I, I listen to men that have been there that have played it, I've played it, but people have obviously gone to greater heights. 2004, hmm. NBA championship, the Detroit Pistons are playing the Los Angeles Lakers. Hmm. The Lakers have four future Hall of Famers, Peyton, Carl Malone, hmm. uh, Kobe, and Shaq. And Chauncey Billups, the starting point forward for the Pistons, he says this, he says, we knew the Lakers had already won three chips and Shaq had won three MVPs in the finals. So we knew that Kobe was gonna wanna get his. Okay. And so what we had to do was make sure that Shaq is gonna eat, Kobe's going to get frustrated, and he's going to force it. How does this relate to the situation I'm talking about? Yeah, please make it. Because if Russell Wilson is forced to eat, and defenses are like, okay, we know Russ is going to get his, then what they're going to do, Marcellus, schematically, we're going to make it hard on Russ to get his. We're going to sit in two high safeties. So mm. now, Seahawks, y'all better run the ball. But Russ is going to be like, the Seahawks is going to be like, yeah, we, we got to make sure Russ gets his. So now you're going to force it when you shouldn't force it. You're going to put yourself in compromising positions. Mm. Russ has always been selfish, selfless. One of the most selfless players in the National Football League. But there's going to come a time when the, the Seahawks are going to have to play left-handed. And is Russ going to be willing to do that? Remember, the Seahawks lost their second Super Bowl, not because they weren't the better team on the field that day, yeah. but Coach Bevel, uh, uh, Coach Carroll had both said, at least they'd let this leak a little bit, that Russ was trying to get that Super Bowl MVP. Mm. He didn't get it the Super Bowl before. Time for him to get it. So now, it's second, it's second down, Y'all hit the one-yard line, and you throw the ball? It doesn't make any sense. But Ooh. things don't necessarily make sense when you're trying to do things that you shouldn't do for the team, but you're trying to do it for an individual. That's my fear for this one. Oh, interesting. Was that take left-handed? Because it just seemed like you over there making an argument. What? My goal as a coach is to have 11 MVPs, or at least in their mindset, chasing MVPs on a team. Because guess what? That is a collective greatness in mindset and perfectly in accomplishment. We know it can't happen, but golly, who am I to sit here and say, no, I want lesser of you, or I don't want you to be recognized as the best in the game. I would love that, and I would love for that to be accumulative and to build. You know that there's no I in team, right? Absolutely. But there is a me. Sure. Damn right. And to use a basketball example here really doesn't hold water because in basketball, it's five on five. Everybody got 20% equity invested in this. We both go both ways. So I can even control it even more. So in football, the discontent isn't going to happen to a team. It's going to happen to that one individual. But that one individual still is going to get his because he's in the MVP conversation. It's just amazing to me right now that there's an argument for him to win it because he hasn't gotten a vote. You got to earn those opportunities. In the three years that he really was an MVP candidate, you know who won him? <laughs> Cam Newton with a 15-1 and season. Patrick Mahomes with an all-time season. And Lamar Jackson, who had another all-time season. So, ah, some awards just have to be heartless. You just got to go get it with your merit. I don't think that this is going to be an issue for the Seahawks. I don't think it's an issue for Russell Wilson if he shows up every single week. LeVar's back with us. So, LeVar, settle the score. Will Russell Wilson's quest for MVP hurt the Seahawks' success? Not only is it not a distraction, but it's a rally call. Because mm. if you really think about it, if your quarterback is is looked at and revered as as an MVP, that means everybody in the ultimate team sport had to do what they were supposed to do. The receivers had to catch the ball. The linemen had to block. The running backs had to run. That's the real. defense had to play defense. It's an ultimate team sport because I've never heard of an MVP, maybe outside of Barry Sanders, that would be <laughs> able to accomplish at an MVP level without it being truly a team um, team effort. So I don't see it being a distraction at all. I'm not saying that Russell Wilson's quest for the MVP is going to necessarily make his teammates worse. What I'm saying is mm. simply this. There's going to come a point in time when you can't do what you want to do. We saw that with the Titans in the playoffs last year. We saw, like, uh-oh, we want to feed Derrick Henry, but we can't do that. How well can you perform when you have to play with what's taken away from you? Let's talk about Patrick Mahomes this year. 
Pat Mahomes ain't gotten worse. Pat Mahomes ain't lo lost any talent. But Reek won against the Texans. They sat in two high safeties. I'm not going to get football technical on y'all. Mm -hmm. But simply saying, the Chiefs had to settle with what they were given. OK, we're going to run the ball. The running back went off. Week two, same thing against the Chargers. This time, just a little bit more pressure, so Mahomes wasn't as great. But people say, Mahomes, you're not going to ball against us. What is Russell Wilson going to do? More importantly, what are the Seahawks going to do mm. when they say, OK, Russell Wilson, you're not going to go crazy against mm. us? I'm just trying to make sure that they don't force it. Because if they do try to force it, it's going to be bad for the Seattle Seahawks. Ah, well, it's a team award, according to Russell Wilson. It's really a special award because everyone is involved in it. That's what he says. But he kind of sounds like red and fried.